Hey guys, today we are going to be taking a look at folder restore and backup operations using Carbon Copy Cloner. Now in my last video, I've gone through how to clone macOS Ventura onto an external SSD using Carbon Copy Cloner. And today's method will involve some of the same steps that we did last time. So if you came from the last video, this is all going to feel very familiar. So with that said, let's jump right into it. Since we are already in Carbon Copy Cloner, we are going to select our source and destination drives. So for source, we are going to have files, a drive that I created for this project with three example files within. And we are going to select our destination drive as CCC Restore. That's another drive that I created for this video. If we click on this drive here, we can see that Legacy Bootable Copy Assistant is grayed out. That's because our source drive files isn't bootable. And for today's purposes, we're going to turn safety net on because we want to maintain file integrity. Also, we are not cloning from a drive that is bootable. All right. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at task filter. So this is an extremely useful aspect of Carbon Copy Cloner in that it lets you select which files you want to clone. Since I'm backing up all of the files on my files drive, I'm just going to select the whole directory. This is essentially the same to if you were to clone a folder to back up a folder because a folder is a directory and so is my files drive. After checking out the options here on the right panel, which I'm not going to go into detail about for now for the sake of conciseness, we are going to click start. But in the meantime, feel free to ask me down in the comments below if you have any questions regarding those options. Okay, so now that our backup is done, let's close this and go back to the desktop. And now we can open our files drive and delete the example files from there because we're going to do a restore operation using CCC. Okay, so back in Carbon Copy Cloner, we are going to select CCC Restore as a source because that was the destination and that contained the example files. And files is going to be our destination this time. After setting the task filter to all of the files in my CCC Restore drive, we are ready to restore our files back to files the drive and now it's important to note and you can see carbon copy cloner reminds us here if our drive is formatted to anything other than apfs or macOS extended the native macOS formats it will prompt us that our clone times will be slow but that's in my experience actually not true so just click away from that and you can continue with the process. Despite the warning, this process is actually going quicker than the last one. So we can now head back into files, and indeed our example files are back in files drive. Okay, so that's it for restoring folders using Carbon Copy Cloner. Hope you guys liked it and found it helpful, and hope I answered your question. If you did, please be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more content like this in the future. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.